All right, so we've got someone up here. We're going to get them scanned in. So start the process. So on the screen, if you can see, everything green is 3D data that the um, system has captured. All the red is new data it's incorporating. So as he spins around, we do a pass on his feet, and then we start moving up. Um, everything's controlled from the Xbox control here. It's running through an Arduino. So I'm also controlling the tilt of the sensor. What kind of, inter what kind of intervals do you have for the, for the camera? The 3D sensor runs at about 30 frames per second. The digital cameras I control, okay. so whenever I press the Y on here is when it captures an image. I try and get from all different angles so that our artists have really clear references when they go back and edit the uh, statues. So we're going to do one more pass here. Look down and get the top of the helmet. And that's it for the scan. Good. Nice. So now we're going to process it, and the second we're going to see in the computer, the preview. Most of the brackets pieces were all 3D printed. We, I built a uh, Delta style printer. I've actually got three of them. It, one printed the next. Nice. Um, everything's designed. I can get everything down to two suitcases, so I fly and travel to different events. That's great. And the projector is just sort of the output to the screen. Yeah, it's just an show. extra display. We've got another monitor up there so people can see the scan. So the software is processing now. We're making it a watertight model. And now we're going to map the uh, colors and textures. And then from here, once we have the color, this will go to one of our artists. Touch up anything the camera might have missed. Make things thick enough that they won't break when they're printing. We send it to our printer and then ship it to the customer. Uh, do you guys offer maybe downloading the STL for like a DIY type, like if you could print it out yourself? We can do, if you want the raw file, we sell those for $20. Um, we either do a PLY if you want the color, or we can convert it to an STL so that you can um, print it on your home printer. So are there any challenging materials uh, or surfaces? Like, I, I know that sometimes glass is a little bit challenging because it's reflective and those things, transparency. Yeah, because it's infrared based, it doesn't see through glass. So if you're holding an empty bottle, it's not going to map it. Yeah. Our artists go back in and we fix things like that. Oh, wow. um, really shiny surfaces. So if you have a Darth Vader, we've done some chrome suits from uh, Battlestar. They don't scan as well. Uh, there's a couple ways around that. We can use either a powder to yes. make it more of a matte finish. But there's, um, the cameras we're using now, pretty much we haven't had too many issues lately. And in the special cases, we'll use the powder and um, find ways to work around it. Okay. I asked earlier, but I'll ask again. Um, the motor that's, that's being powering to, to, to rotate and turntable? Yeah, so the motors are just uh, DC window motors from like a GM 90s vehicle. They're really good for do-it-yourself because they're a gear motor. So for applications like the turntable spinning, you can't get any backlash, so I don't have to worry about somebody falling off or the base spinning when I don't want it to. Are there any weight limitations? The, um, our bigger base, you're all set. Our bigger base, we had about up to 600 on it. Wow. This one, I've had 450. I basically took every weight I own and everything that had weight, put it on there and stood on top of it, spinning it to test it. And it uh, worked. It's, the motor is geared itself as a worm drive, and then I have about a 12 to 1 ratio on the belt. So That's it's great. got plenty of torque. I wrote a lot of the software, so behind the scenes what just happened, it's taking this model, rendering an image, putting it in our database. Uh, we get an email and associate with it, and then we'll get it uploaded tonight. You'll be able to view it on our site. That is awesome. We will do that. And that's what we do. Uh, you can check out our website, 0.3D.com, on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Twitter, all that as well. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.